My name is uh, Fred Roos. I work for Santander Bank and I am the CIO for the Treasury and Market Risk Areas. Lovely. And uh, what do you think will be the, um, the big highlights or your predictions for data and analytics for next year in 2018? Uh, I think you'll see more of a, a move towards integration, expansion of data and being able to use more of a data lake from a exploitation from a reporting and analytics perspective. Well, my name is Arash Saladi and I'm the head of the data science at Geico. And what would you um, say, in your opinion, would be the key um, predictions that you have for data and analytics in 2018? I think for um, a lot of the companies, they're going to move from more of a process-oriented, uh, transactional-based model that they have to more of an intelligent decisioning within the processes. So uh, how we change and how we organize our processes, business processes, are going to be really more determined by analytics and data science models rather than business rules and standards uh, so that we can create more personalized processes for the customer, enhance the customer experience, but also accelerate the, the, uh, the delivery of the value to the customers. Juan Jose Ramirez, I am director at Banorte. Banorte is a bank from Mexico. And what would you say would be your key predictions for data and analytics in 2018? In order the the business that we drive, we must focus on the customer. I think we must focus on the customer and we must focus on uh, the data as well, but uh, what the customer wants, no? and what, what the customer needs in order to, that the business grow up. My name is Shiva Kumar and uh, I work for Bright House Financial, what used to be Metalized Retail Group in the past, and uh, I lead the data science group, uh, and my title is Director of Data Science. And can you tell me what uh, key predictions that you uh, have in data and analytics for next year? One is, uh, the cloud-based uh, uh, analytics. Uh, so our company is moving entirely into cloud and uh, also using more open source to drive more innovation. And also the, I think the buzz around uh, the artificial intelligence uh, and uh, ability of us to use uh, various kind of data sources to make better decision and uh, trying to stay ahead of the curve. I'm Mike Kim. I'm head of analytics for REITs. We're a consulting company based in Chicago. And uh, what would you say be the key predictions or things that um, will be uh, really hot within data and analytics next year? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, we work a lot with retail and healthcare and a lot of different industry verticals. I really think the push towards customization, being tool agnostic, and giving things kind of a, in a customized point of view, whether it's analytics as a service or analytics on demand, will be really important. Mm -hmm.